Hey everybody, I'm James and welcome to another one of my wrist-free, hands-free videos, my wrist-free warriors. It's great to be with you. Once again, it's a strong, powerful sequence, dynamic practice where we don't put any weight in the wrists or the hands at all. We're going to work hard, build up some heat and get a little bit sweaty. And if you have a yoga block, one of the bricks or maybe just a big book, could be handy to have for this practice. Pause the video, go grab a yoga brick or a big book and we will get cracking. So folks, it's great to be with you. If you have your yoga brick or your big book, place it near the front of your mat and that is where we are going to stand. So come to the front of your mat, feet about hip distance apart, just as you settle into your feet. As you lift your toes, really spread them and feel the toes feeling a little bit more open and active. And then imagine you're being drawn up gently through the crown of the head, standing in a tall but relaxed way, a little bit soft. Let's start to flow. As you inhale, the arms are going to rise up around the ears. As you exhale, palms together, fold forwards gently. Lift up halfway and come into chair pose, hips back. Imagine you're sitting into a chair. Just take a moment here. The weight is mostly in your heels. And now once again, fold forwards, touch the fingertips to the ground. And then from here, lift up halfway, step your left foot back and carefully back knee down, arms rising, crescent lunge. Circle the arms three times heart lifting like sunrise, arms come up overhead. From here, reach your arms back, spread the fingers and lean forwards towards the front thigh. Inhale, lift the arms, exhale, lean forwards. These are what I call dragon wings. Some of you may know these. One more time, leaning forwards, dragon wings. This time as you lift up, tuck your back toes, keep your arms around your ears and can you lift your shoulders up around your ears? Really lift them up. And now back toes are tucked, knee presses up, straighten the front leg, five. Knee slowly down, four, three, two, one. From here, bend the front knee, bring the fingertips to touch together. Turn to the right for a moment, squeeze the glutes, and then inhale center, arms by the ears, Back heel down, warrior two. In your warrior two, check your front knee is above your front ankle. Back toes turned in slightly. Turn your front palm up, let's reverse as you breathe in. Front knee stays bent. And then reach both arms forwards, press your front foot down. Let's get those glutes cooking and reversing. Reach for the sun. And now this time as you reverse, straighten your front leg, lift your front toes and start to bring your fingertips down, maybe to touch the floor next to your left foot, and then all the way back up, reaching for the sun. Warrior two. From here, high lunge. Big step forwards, bring your left knee in towards your chest. Pause, hover. And now cross your right ankle over your knee. So the ankle comes over the knee, fingertips come together, and then sit back into the hip. Once you find the balance, take the arms out like wings. Could you let the fingertips dangle down? It's breathing here. Three, two, one. Release, standing at the front of your mat. Inhale, arms lift. Second side, exhale, folding. Lift up halfway, chair pose. Option to lift the heels this time. Get those ankles working. Shaky, shaky is how we like it and then return, fold forwards, fingertips down. Again, inhale, lift up halfway, float the hands, step the right foot back, back knee down. Three arm circles. Warming up bit by bit, building on the same sequence, getting stronger as we go. Arms lift, dragon wings lean forwards. And again. Calm inhale as you lift, calm exhale as you fold. Now arms up around the ears, really lift up. Imagine you're lifting something up proudly, showing off a trophy. Tuck your back toes and up we come. High lunge, straighten the front leg. 
find your balance, and now down five, four, three, two, one. Fingertips together, bend the front knee, turn to your left for a moment. Inhale back to center, back heel down, warrior two, take a moment. Feel the legs strong, the arms light. Front palm turns up as you reverse. Reach for the sun. We could all do with a bit more. Reverse. Reach for the sun, especially in London, where I am. Reverse. This time straighten your front leg, lift the front toes. Bend your back knee and bring the fingertips to touch the ground next to the right foot. All the way back up, reach for the sun. Reverse. And now high lunge, step forwards, knee comes into the chest, hold, hover. Settle your shoulders, settle your breath. Ankle over knee, sitting back. Again, start to take the arms out like wings. If you have a favorite bird, imagine you are that bird. One that flies is probably good, rather than a kiwi, as beautiful as they are. <laughs> Slowly release. Come to stand, mountain pose. From here, take your feet as wide as your shoulders. Turn your toes out a little bit. Straighten the legs, arms up around the ears, and really lift your shoulders up. You feel a little bit bunched up. Very slowly, you're going to lean to the right. Side bend. Take a pause. And as you breathe out, come back up to center. Inhale. Exhale, lean to the left. Take a breath in. And now as you exhale, firm the abs as you come back up. Again, let yourself sink a little bit. Use the muscles in the side of your waist to drive yourself back up. Last time, over to the left. And coming back up to center, release the hands. Mountain pose standing at the front of your mat. In your mountain pose, inhale, lift the arms. This time, dragon wings, exhale, folding forwards. Halfway up into chair pose, heels lift off the floor. And then right heel down, left foot back, crescent, arms rising. Dragon wings, just once this time. Arms coming up, tuck your back toes, power up. Power rangers, lifting up. Back knee down for three. And two. And one. From here, bend the front knee, fingertips come together, turn to your right. Option to breathe here or to open the arms wide like wings. With the arms open wide like wings, we're gonna hinge forwards, bring the fingertips just to tickle the ground, right arm comes up, right leg strong, floating, 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 and then back up, high lunge. Warrior two, back heel down. Slowly reversing. Reach for the sun. Touching the earth, front leg straightens, fingertips down. Reach for the sun. Now listen carefully, warrior two, follow me slowly. Lift your right arm up, reverse warrior. Front knee stays bent. And now keep the arms going, start to curl them in. Like you're creating a ball of energy at the heart. Hands float on top of each other. Check your front knee. From here, take your right hand and push it forwards. Left hand stays below the heart. Take a pause. And now release, high lunge. Big step forwards, knee comes into the chest. Hold it here. With the knee lifting up into the chest, open the arms wide. Crane from Tai Chi and Qigong. Cross the ankle over the knee, figure four. Down we go. Insinuate the hips backwards. Folding, floating here. Now from here, I'm gonna invite you to take your right hand to rest at your sacrum, your lower back. Left hand, could you catch the toes on the left foot? So hook the first two fingers around the big toe. Hold and fold forwards. Option to start to twist to the right, turn the shoulders. And now slowly release, left knee comes back up into the chest and open the knee out to the side, right arm comes out to the side. Pause here. Option one, breathe here. Option two, bend your standing leg. 
We're going to float forward, send the knee out like a capital letter T, like your favourite bird, albatross, hawk, sparrow, whatever it is. <laughs> Flying to three, you've got this, nearly there, come on. Two, get those glutes cooking. And one, release. Ooh, wipe a tear from my eye, shake your legs out. Mountain pose, front of your mat. Inhale, arms lift. Dragon wings folding. Inhale, chair pose, heels lift. Right foot steps back, back knee down. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, dragon wings. Back up, tuck back toes. Lift up, high lunge, straight legs. And then bend for three, two, one. Turn to your left. Maybe open the arms. If that feels good, start to hinge forwards, float the right fingertips just above the ground. Trust in your legs, they've got you. And then come back, high lunge, warrior two. Whew. Reversing, reach for the sun. Touching the earth, lift the front toes, bend the back knee. Once again, reach for the sun. Warrior two, listen closely again. Reverse. Start to scoop the arms so you create a ball of light at the heart. Front knee bends. Left palm pushes forwards, right elbow draws back. Three steady breaths. From here, high lunge, and knee into the chest, crane, floating. Maybe elegantly, maybe not, doesn't really matter. Ankle over knee, figure four, folding. From here, left hand comes to the sacrum or the lower back. Right fingers catch the right big toe. Option to twist. Tricky, tricky, tricky. If you're falling out, no worries. Not easy. Be good to yourself, yeah? You got this. Now slowly come back. Right knee comes up and into the chest. And this time the left arm comes out. Knee opens out. And here we go. Flying. Hovering like a bird over the sea. Unafraid of the waves beneath. Stand strong. Trust. Two more breaths. Slowly release mountain pose at the front of your mat. Take your feet as wide as your shoulders. Mop your brow like I need to. Maybe you don't, you're probably not as sweaty as me. <laughs> release the hands. <clears throat> Soften the knees, clearing from Qigong. Arms lift slowly. Middle fingers face each other overhead. And any excess heat or tension or frustration, push it out, clear it out of your system. <sighs> Let's do one more for good measure. Gather anything which doesn't serve you right now. Other people's baggage, <laughs> clear it out. <sighs> it's not yours, release it. Still with the feet wide, start to straighten the legs. Take the arms up round the ears. From here, we're gonna hinge forwards at the hips. Go slowly, bend your knees a little bit if you need to, keep your back really long. This is the starting position. We're gonna rotate out to the right into the side bend. Ooh, and back to center. To the left. Center. Right. Shoulders around the ears. Center, left, center, come to stand, mountain pose. From here, front of the mat, bring the feet quite close together. Inhale, arms rise, heart like an offering to the sky, and then bowing, heart like an offering to Mother Earth. Lift up halfway, bend your knees, chair pose, lower down, Lower down as far as you're able to. And then from here, we're gonna find a way to sit down. And here comes your magical brick or your book. It's coming in between the thighs, just above the knees, squeeze in. And then place your feet flat on the floor, knees bent, 
Take your arms forward as you squeeze the brick firmly. Start to curl your spine down, round your lower back, scoop your belly in, slowly curl down. Your feet might slide or lift, that's okay. Come all the way down, squeeze your brick. We're gonna come back up slowly. Reach the fingertips forwards, chin to chest. Press your lower back down, slowly coming up. That's it, all the way. If you have to float the feet, no worries. Five, curling down. Squeeze the brick. Exhale, curl up. Four, curl down, squeeze the brick. Three, control it slowly as you can. Two, nearly there. One, curl all the way down. This time let your arms rest by the sides of your body, palms face the sky. Squeeze the brick, bring the knees in towards the chest. Take a little rock and now bring your knees to float over your hips. Feet are apart. Option one, keep the knees bent like this. Option two, straighten the legs and point the feet. From here, reach your fingertips up towards your toes or beyond your knees if the knees are bent. Slowly curl up, reach the fingertips forwards. If the legs are straight, trying to reach the toes and then curl back down. Five, curl up. Four, three, squeeze the brick. Two, press your lower back down. One, from here, release. Take the brick in your hands. We're gonna take a little rock forwards and back and maybe rock all the way up to sit. From here, bring the soles of the feet together in a diamond shape. If it's comfortable, catch hold of the ankles or the feet and take your chest towards the feet. What's called cobbler's pose, sometimes called butterfly, Baddha Konasana. Let the shoulders settle down your back, away from your ears. And then from here, start to release. Once again, take your brick, curl all the way back down. This time, listen closely. Take your brick, and can you bring it behind your left thigh, and you're gonna squeeze the calf onto the brick, so you're gonna be holding the brick behind your thigh. From here, straighten your right leg down your mat, let your arms rest for a sec, bring the knee in as you press the right thigh down. Sometimes this gets a bit crampy, so if you need to remove the brick or the book, go for it. From here, I'm gonna bring my fingertips to the side of my head and curl up to hold. Option one, breathe here, press your lower back down. Option two, float the right leg at a diagonal, hold for five, four, three, my toes are going into cramp, <laughs> two, one, release and switch legs, exchange the brick. Again, knee comes in, curling up, right leg, uh, left leg straight, press the thigh down to begin. You can totally work here, it's quite strong already. Or maybe leg comes up, holding knee towards the nose for five, four, three, two, one. Release the brick, take it to one side. Rock all the way up, find your way into a squat. Forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, left foot steps back, back knee down, arms up. Same sequence, adding to it, dragon wing. Rising high lunge, arms open out to the right. Bring the left fingertips to float just above the ground. Option this time to take the left hand forwards a little bit, keep turning and maybe begin to lift the back leg up, floating reverse half moon. It's not an easy pose. Straighten the back leg, lift, 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 lift. Bend the right knee. If this is easy for you, think about lifting the upper back upwards, get really strong and step back, high lunge. Warrior two, back heel down. Reverse, keeping your power reach for the sun. Touch the earth behind you, pause here this time. Turn your front foot to face the same direction as your back foot. Creep the fingertips over, side lunge. Creep the fingertips, like you're playing piano, side lunge. Option for dragon wings, to the right and to the left. Warrior two, opening out. 
reverse, ball of light at the heart. Press the right palm forwards, draw the left hand back. This time, imagine you're an archer with a bow. Hold the bow in the right hand. And can you now pull the bowstring back like you're shooting an arrow to the bullseye? Draw the elbow back, pulling the bow. From here, lift the chest, aim the arrow to the sky. And you could be searching for the thing which makes you feel good, that brings you more peace, the target, the goal. Release your arrow. Ha! Warrior two, high lunge. Crane. From your crane, figure four, ankle over the knee, fingertips join. This time, take hold of the knee with the left hand, and we're going to open up into that open hip position. Fold forwards again. And then come back to stand, take the ankle back over the knee. Figure four. Option to continue holding the knee. Or this time, you might catch the big toe again. I'll show you this way. And as you catch the big toe, as you come to stand, take the leg out to the side, straighten the leg. This is optional. You could be holding the knee. Come back one more time. And again, lifting up. And now, if you have the big toe, as you fold forwards, keep the leg straight, flying like a bird over the sea, holding the big toe, and then slowly release, mountain pose, heroic effort. Step apart, clear. Oh. One more time. From here, mountain pose, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, lift up halfway, chair pose, heels lift. Right foot back, back knee down. Crescent, flowing between earth and sky. High lunge, take your time. Standing twist. Option to breathe here, to rotate, or maybe revolve half moon. It's a tough old pose. If you're coming forwards, hand is off the floor, lift your back knee, straighten the back leg, turn the chest. Really expand, four, Three, again, lift up into your upper back, glutes are on. Two, one, high lunge to warrior two, back heel down. Together, reversing. Reach for the sun, touch the earth behind you. This time, front foot faces in, and lateral lunge to the left. You don't have to go as low as me, just explore what feels good. This time, maybe dragon wings. And now all the way back into your warrior two. Reverse, ball of light at the heart. Left palm forwards, right elbow back. Imagine you're holding a bow. Add the arrow, pull the bowstring, draw it back. Open chest, get your target in sight. Whatever you're working towards, whatever you're trying to cultivate at the moment, see it and hit the bullseye. <sighs> From here, high lunge, crane, ankle over knee, figure four. And this time holding the hand to the left knee. As you come to stand, take the knee out to the side. Uh, this way. Uh, sorry, you're holding the right knee, I think. And then fall forwards. And then coming back up. Again, cross the ankle over the knee. Option to hold the knee or maybe the big toe this time. As you come to stand, if you have the toe, straighten, lift, shoulders down. Replace. Last time, slowly lift. Option to hold the knee and fold or to hold the foot and fold. Capital letter T in the arms. Three. That's it, stay with it, you've got it. Two, one, release. Mountain pose, clear. <sighs> Let it settle down. One more time, clear. From here, step the feet in a little bit closer. From here, could you shift weight into the right foot? Bend the right knee and sit into the hip a little bit. So the weight's in that right leg. 
From here, bring your left toe to touch the floor in front of you, but there's no weight in it. The weight is in the right knee. Take the arms forwards. Slowly lower down, keep the hips dropping, keep the chest lifted, just the big toe touching. Push back up, four. Keep the weight in the right foot, three. If you like, you could lift the big toe off the floor, two. Baby pistol squats, one. Some of you asked for how to build up to them. This is one way, switch legs. Weight into the left foot. Foot pretty much facing forwards. Knee bent, hips down and back. Right big toe, tickle the ground, arms forwards. Here we go. Hips back, chest up, four, three, two, one. Come to stand. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, folding. Lift up halfway, chair pose, heels lift. Last time, left foot steps back, back knee down. Inhale, arms rise. This time, option to take the palms gently into a fingertip prayer behind the neck. So the wrists nice and easy. Lower the hips forwards and down if that feels good. Even if you're going for the back bend, lift up through your pubic bone and squeeze the glutes, engage them. Two more breaths. Slowly release dragon wings. High lunge, arms rising. This time dragon wings into your warrior three. Point in the back foot. Now this is gonna be tricky folks. Take your fingertips down to the ground, no weight in the hands, just the fingertips resting. Bend your right knee, standing split. From here, bring your left knee next to your right knee. Pause, hover, hold, flamingo. Option one, breathe here in flamingo. Option two, with the hands light, feed the left leg through pistol squat. There it is, hold. If it's easy to come through, you could place the right heel down, point the foot and see if you can stand up. See if you can lower back down. And now coming back through, standing split, warrior two, step back. Reverse, reach for the sun. Touch the earth, reach for the sun. Reverse, ball of light. Right palm presses forwards, catch the bow, pull, lift up, shoot the target. Knee into chest, crane. Ankle over knee. Catch the knee or the big toe as you stand. Take the leg or the knee out to the side. Last time, fold forwards. This time, bring the fingertips down to the ground, keep the leg lifted to the side, hold. Keep the knee or the leg out, three, two, one. Step the feet together, forward fold. All the way to stand, palms together, through center. Mountain pose. You might need to wipe your forehead. <laughs> I say that because I do. Mountain. Settle the breath. Settle the heart rate. And one more time when you're ready, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway chair, heels lift. Right foot steps back, back knee down. Fingertips join behind the neck, elbows in, lift the heart. Option to drop the hips forwards and down. Again, don't collapse completely. Keep a lift through the pubic bone. Squeeze the glutes. Calm and steady. And as you release, dragon wings. From here, high lunge. Prepare for warrior three. Hips level. Arms and legs powerful and active. Lengthen, reach. Fingertips coming towards the ground. Just hovering, maybe not even touching, maybe floating. Flamingo, knee comes in. Option to breathe here, or pistol squat. Left heel comes up. Maybe you stay here, maybe the heel comes down. Maybe you drive up. Maybe you slowly lower back down. Take time, these. Standing split. And step back, warrior two. Nearly there, folks, stay strong. 
reverse. You've got it, last few strong poses. Reach forwards, touch the earth. Reach for the sun, reverse. Ball of light, find the bow, pull the bowstring back, find the target, release, crane. Ankle over knee. Catch the knee or the big toe, lift. Fold halfway down, hold, hold, hold. Keep the leg lifted, bring the fingertips down, the knee and the leg stay out to the side for three. Like a dog at a lamppost, two. Or a fire hydrant if you're in the States. One. Step the feet together, forward fold. Come all the way up to stand. Gather down, cooling. Clouds to the heart, mountain. Standing steady like a mountain, eyes closed. Feel the cooling mists of mountain clouds around you. Up there with all those flying cranes and dragons. From here, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forwards. Lift up halfway. Step the left foot back, bring the back knee down. And then bring the right knee to join. Let's come to a kneeling position for a moment. If this feels uncomfortable, you could stay up here. Let's take a moment to settle the breath. Let the focus of your eyes soften slightly. The gaze just softens a little bit. And then when you're ready, slowly coming with the hips stacked over the knees, tuck your toes behind you. From here, I'm gonna gently rest my hands at my sacrum, fingertips resting on my glutes. Just very gently, no pressure in the wrists. And now from here, I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under. So I'm gonna tuck under and I'll feel my glutes pop on when I do that. So check that your glutes are engaged. Press the hips forwards. From here, could you take the right arm Lengthen it and sweep it over to the left in a diagonal arc. And then come back to centre. So it looks like this from the front. Left arm comes over in an arc. And then centre, switch the hands. We'll do this one more time to your left, or to the right even. <laughs> and then come back. Now this time as the right arm comes forwards, squeeze the glutes, press the hips forwards, and circle the arm out. Three. Diagonal circles, two, one. Reach your fingertips towards the right heel. Option to breathe here, or if it feels okay, you could rest the fingertips just on the heel, mindful of your wrist, half camel. If you're in half camel, level the shoulders, send the hips forwards, and then slowly release, switch hands. Left arm diagonally out, three, two. There goes my knee popping. One, it's normal if it happens to you. Maybe you breathe here, supporting. Maybe the fingertips rest on the heel. Turn the chest. And if this feels good to you, you could take both hands into Camel Ustrasana if you want to, but there's no need to, you don't have to. If you are in Camel, it's up to you if you drop the head back. Then when you're ready, coming forwards again, just coming down into a child's pose, folding forwards, let your arms rest out in front of you. That sense of sinking into the embrace of gravity, the embrace of the earth. Taking luxurious, rich breaths into your back body. Mm. When you're ready, starting to come up, and just find your way round to sit. You come to a cross-legged position. <clears throat> and could you take the legs out into a V-shape? So in this V-shape, bring your right foot next to the left thigh, sitting nice and tall. Take your right fingertips out and behind you a little bit. And then your left hand could come to hold the opposite knee, so the right knee. I'm gonna press my straight leg down foot is active, and I lift and I turn into a twist. 
Option one, breathe here. Option two, you might lift the right arm by the ear and start to side bend, you know, building on the side bend from earlier. Maybe the fingertips reach towards the foot. If it's comfortable, you could lean on the elbow if you have the flexibility. If you don't, don't worry. You know, you're still getting a stretch, right? It doesn't matter where you are. If you get the stretch, great. If you've got loads of space, eventually catching the foot, there it is, and turning the chest to the ceiling. Wherever you are, just two more breaths. Slowly come back to center. Now from here, could you place that right foot flat next to the left knee with the option to step it over the knee if that feels good and available to you. Either way, circle the left arm around the thigh. Right fingertips just resting back. There's no weight in my hands, just the fingertips providing contact as I lift and turn. And if the foot is outside the knee, you could even take the elbow outside and twist deeper if that's what you want. From here, slowly release back into the V. Left foot comes in. Left hand behind, right hand to the knee. Lift, twist. Maybe here, or maybe leaning over. If you're side bending, rather than facing the floor, think about turning to face the sky. Soften and lengthen your breath. When you're ready, slowly coming back up, left foot next to the knee or over it, and twisting. It's quite helpful to press the right thigh down into the ground so you ground the thigh bone, what's called the femur. You ground the femur down, grounding it to the ground, rooting it, and then turning. I also find it helpful to think about lifting my ribcage away from the thigh. We all have a different amount of compression here, depending on our structure. But that sense of lifting the ribcage up and away from the thigh a little bit is helpful, I think. And then from here, start to release and bring your legs forwards. Have your brick nearby, or your book if you have it, and slowly curl down. Don't worry, there's no more ab work. <laughs> Walk your feet in, bend your knees. And as an option, you could simply rest here, letting your back release. Or if you have a brick or a book which is really sturdy, you could bring that underneath um, the sacrum, and that is, if you follow your spine down, there's a kind of bony, kind of plateau, like a bony shelf where you can rest on the brick. And again, if you would like this deeper, you can lift the height of the brick. Might not work so well with a book to go higher, but if you have a brick, you could even lift up here. It's making sure it feels comfortable, supported bridge. And taking three or four more slow, calm breaths. When you feel it's time, you might slowly release, remove the brick, curl back down. Draw the knees in towards the armpits. Maybe hold the knees or even the feet or the big toes for happy baby, our final pose before we rest. I quite like holding my big toes and kind of stretching the legs a little bit in different directions. I think it's important in practice to have a blend of, you know, discipline, showing up, committing to it, you know, doing our best in a way, but to blend that with playfulness, with lightheartedness, with being kind to yourself, not taking it too seriously, right? A balance. When you're ready, releasing out. Just placing the body in a way 
which you might do for a friend who you were trying to give a really good shavasana, a really good rest to. Could you place yourself with the same uh, care and intention? And as we settle just for a couple minutes here, calm breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. For some people, the mind gets restless, if that's your experience here. I'd invite you to bring your attention to your wrists and your hands and imagine sending them healing light, a light pink coloured light for healing. Sending love to the wrists and the hands. So in your own time, it's beginning to lengthen your breath again. Imagine you could send waves of breath to the fingertips and the toes, like the waves of the ocean, gently reaching the shores of your body, and the arms stretch out overhead. And your feet walking. And you could roll to one side using the arm as a pillow. And in the gentlest way possible, it's coming up, maybe use your forearms, coming to a seated position. Just as we sit, an invitation to bring the palms together if that feels good to you. And just bowing the head a little bit to the heart. And just taking a moment to acknowledge your growing strength, your commitment, your sense of adventure. And then bowing a little bit to the earth that this practice may bring us strength, wisdom and compassion in equal measure. And we'll close here. Peace, peace, peace. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So thank you so much for being here, whether it's your first time with me or whether you've done many of my other mystery videos before. More coming every weekend, usually on Saturdays. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great week and enjoy your practice.